hello everyone welcome back to my channel cat tutorials for beginners so today we are going to learn about some interesting uh, commands which are available in the sketcher so let's start with the mechanical design then part design and enter the part name just uh, i will keep this as it is just click on ok so that it will open the part one and then um, here we need to first go to the uh, sketcher so here in the sketcher we have uh, two options the first one is sketch and the second one is position sketch so uh, so depending upon the requirement we can use this position sketch but yeah definitely uh, we must go to this uh, position sketch so click on the position sketch and here you need to provide the reference that is the plane on which you want to draw the sketch so i will just select the front plane and make sure that the vertical uh, and the horizontal axis uh, have the uh, proper alignment there so i, I see uh, the v on the top and uh, h on the horizontal so this is the proper alignment for this plane then just click ok so it will open the sketcher for this uh, part one and here uh, we'll learn about this uh, some interesting uh, commands available for the profile uh, toolbar so here first one is the profile second one is the uh, circular uh, sorry rectangle then oriented rectangle parallelogram so we'll discuss about this as well as we'll uh, discuss about the circle some interesting uh, uh, what we can say commands we'll learn in this uh, tutorial okay so let us first discuss about the second toolbar over here so the rectangle so first we'll check the rectangle so rectangle is very easy so you can just click one point and then provide the other diagonal point so it will create the rectangle so here you will see the the green line which represents the constraints so this is fully constrained these two lines are fully constrained it is showing that so now we can we can provide the uh, measurements to these lines these are the white lines which are non constraints so just provide the constraints with the help of this icon and you can provide the dimension over here so if you provide all the dimensions and then then in that way you know, we can say uh, this is fully constrained as it is showing the green color so now if you try to drag it it will not get dragged so let's uh, try to delete this and then you can try so you can see this is not constrained not fully constrained so that's why we uh, provide these dimensions to get it fully constrained so this is a rectangle just close this delete one then um, you will see some rectangles so uh, not rectangles triangles so let's uh, see how to draw isosceles triangle and then uh, the equi equal sorry the equilateral triangle so uh, for for drawing a triangle we use basically uh, this profile toolbar so here uh, so for triangle uh, as we know we, we have we need to uh, we need to have three lines so just i will create randomly three lines so this is a rectangle simple rectangle so now again uh, to make it constraint uh, we can just provide a dimension or we can also provide the angle over here so just select the two lines and then uh, you can provide this angle so as we know uh, for equi equilateral triangle we have uh, the all the all the sides of the all the sides are equal and as well as the all the angles must be the same and it is 60 degree so let's provide this as 60 degree i will just delete one line and then again you can provide this as a 60 degree so automatically the third one will be the 60 degree and this is the equilateral triangle so if you try to check let's say we'll provide first as a hundred mm then if you try to provide the dimension to this this is again hundred and then the next this is also hundred so actually when we when we provide the multiple uh, what we can say multiple dimensions so this is becomes over constraints so just delete this what it constraint okay so this is a equilateral triangle so if you want to create the isosceles triangle so just delete this again with the help of profile we will create a simple triangle over here just create a triangle and then you can provide the dimensions so as you know for isosceles triangle the angle between this uh, be between two 
lines or two angles must be the 45 degree and the two sides must be the equal so let's provide the angle you can provide either the angle or you can provide the sides as well i will provide this 45 degree and then i will provide this 45 degree so this is basically a isosceles triangle so uh, the opposite sides of uh, uh, the opposite sides uh, for this 45 degree must be the equal so this is this and e this equals to this so just provide one dimension over here let's say 100 so in this way we can create the isosceles triangle so now uh, let's say uh, if you want to create an inscribed circle for this uh, triangle so we can do that uh, with the help of this commands so this is a tri uh, tangent circle we can use so just click on it just select this tangent this tangent and then this tangent so it will create a circle in between this triangle so this is an inscribed circle similarly if you want to create the uh, circle through points so outside circle so we can create this with the help of this three point circle so just click on it so select the first point select the second point and select the third point so in this way we can create the circle which is passing through these three points of this vertex of the triangles so in this way we can create this then after that there are some arcs available so just let's see just delete this so just go to the arc so first we will select this is a three point arc so just select one point select the second point and then select the third point it will create the arc in between these three points okay so this is the one type of arc then we have other arcs as well this is uh, the three point arcs starting with the limits so just select this so you can just select select the uh, first limit second limit and it will create the arc for you and then definitely you can you can provide the measurements for it as per your requirement and then one more is there this is the last one this is center point arc so you need to provide the center and then you need to create the first point and then the second point and then after that you can provide the dimension to this arc so this is, these are the types of arcs we mostly use then uh, let's say if you want to create a just delete this i will create one random profile so just select the profile here and then select the first point select anything now you can create this profile okay so now again if you want to constrain this you need to provide all the dimensions so let's provide this dimension so you can see this line is little bit flaky so you can you can provide this so not this one you, you can see this this line is a little bit flaky so you can click on the constraints again select this line and right click on it and you will find the vertical over here so if you click on it the line will be the vertical one similarly you can see this line so again uh, click on the constraint and here as well you can right click and you can just provide the horizontal direction direction or horizontal measure direction or the vertical measure direction i'll just provide this and now you can see again this line is little bit flaky so you can just click on the normal so it will get aligned with the plane properly so again you can provide the dimension you can change it let's say 100 similarly so better than this incline i will provide the angular dimension over here let's say this is the angle let's say 145 similarly i will create this as a horizontal just click on horizontal it will be horizontal then here provide the dimension so let's say again 100 and then here i will provide one angle So better than this i will just provide the dimension for this line actually so that the vertical will be constrained so again i will provide let's say 170 here so in this way you can create the constraint profile 
similarly in some profiles we need to we can directly use the the curves with the help of this profile option so we will see that again so let's again delete this and here just click on the profile so now so let's start a profile again vertical then this just click on and then after that after just clicking just don't just keep keep it pressed and then you can just drag it and you can create the curve so you can create a curve on the both side so let's say i will create on this side and then again just create a line and then join so in this way you can create a curve as well with the help of profile so again i will provide some constraints so let's say this is again flaky so i will just make it to vertical and then here i will provide some dimensions then here you will provide the curvature here so let's say 100 and then here i think the angle will be sufficient uh, no actually so just provide this as well and in this way you can create the profile with the help of with the with the curves as well with the help of this profile tool so uh, in the next tutorial we will understand the remaining uh, commands in this profile toolbar so thank you very much for watching please do subscribe and like my channel